Hey everyone, Garrett from On Point here. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time checking out the channel, please hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you can get new, uh, future notifications for when I upload. So this is my favorite time of year when I get to do bow reviews of all the new brand new bows coming out from all the manufacturers. And this year I'm starting with the Matthews. This is the first one to arrive here at the shop. They already sold the V331, so I'm gonna be reviewing the 27 today. But if you know anything about last year's model, the VXR, uh, this probably won't make a lot of people happy, especially the Matthews guys. It's basically a VXR with a few updates. And so you're looking at a very similar brace height, similar ATAs, but you are looking at a few stark differences. And if you look at this bow, you're gonna notice the first thing probably is the roller guard being angled down. And they're calling that basically the center guard cable containment system. And from what they're advertising is that it helps with the tuning and the timing of the cams and making that easier. And another added benefit is that for you high profile vein guys that are shooting those taller veins, um, you'll probably be the only one to really notice this difference, but it'll pull the cables a little farther away. So where, maybe where you were hitting the cable before, you might not be hitting them now. Uh, outside of that, they sleek down dampeners on the bottom here. They're going to a Nano 740 is what they're calling it. And that's just, like I said, they're sleeking it down and kind of trimming the fat off of the VXR where you get a little bit longer riser that's, that's definitely cut out and has more curvature to it. Kind of a more modern looking bow. They're keeping a lot of the same stuff though. Same cams, switch weight technology, same grip, and everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, the specs on this thing uh, for the 27, come in at 336 and that is important because that's a 29 and a half inch ibo speed that's not a regular 30. so if you compare that to the 342 for the 31 inch model of this it's really really similar a lot of guys aren't, aren't really mentioning that i feel like it's kind of doing the 27 an injustice it's it's half an inch shorter and it's only six feet per second slower so if you gave that thing an extra half inch you're right in there with the ibo of the 31 so Basically, and, and it should be, they're both the same brace heights and everything, same cams. Only really the only thing different is the uh, ATAs and stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and shoot this bow. I have this bow here. They already sold the 31 before I could shoot it. So I have the 27. It's going to be set at 27 inches at 60 pounds. Uh, most of the other views aren't doing that poundage at that setting. So um, kind of a different little spin on this video versus all the ones that you've probably already seen by now. But I have a 428 grain arrow, my hunting arrow from about four years ago. I have this year's hunting arrow at 480. And then I have a heavier arrow at 575. And so let's go ahead and just start with the uh, lightest arrow here. And that's at 262, which is actually pretty impressive. At 27 inches, 60 pounds, 262. Um, that's faster than I was shooting 70 pounds at 28 inches quite a few years ago. That's, you know, this, the bow technology nowadays has just gotten these bows so far that we're splitting hairs when we're doing these reviews. But let's go ahead and shoot the 480 grain arrow. And that's at 248. Then here goes the 575 grain arrow. I'm trying really hard not to draw with my elbow down, but my shoulder's so jacked up anymore. It uh, kind of forces me to draw down. I get that comment every year. So I want to get ahead of that. My draw sucks, my shoulder's bad, doing the best I can. But uh, that 575 grain arrow came in at 229. So a few more things about this bow, I wanna compare it to the 31 real quick, is that the draw lengths are from 25 to 29 and a half. The draw lengths for the 31 are 26 to 30 and a half, which is slightly different than last year's um, setups. Outside of that, you're gonna have both of them are six inch brace heights, and you're within six feet per second IBO speeds, which I said, this is, a, this is kind of having a little bit of a, of a crutch against it because it's a half inch shorter IBO because it only goes up to 29 and a half. So apples to apples, they're pretty much the same speeds. Outside of that guys, very shootable bow. You know, Matthews really hasn't had to change much since they came out. Probably with the Halon, that's back when you had the cross-centric cams come out. The Vertex is when the switch weights came out. Um, you know, they really haven't had to change much because they were really, they kind of jumped up to the lead there, in my opinion. Um, and then they, they've kind of just stayed there and everybody's kind of just bouncing around. No one's really making any amazing 
changes or anything like that. Botex had some great upgrades to their bows here in the last couple of years, but um, very similar bow to last year's bow. I think if you put this and you did like a blind shooting test, I, or you had somebody that didn't know anything about bows, I don't think they could tell the difference. I don't think I could tell the difference if you blindfolded me and put two uh, bare bows in my hands. I really don't think you could. So uh, take that for what it's worth. If it's worth getting your uh, the new bow and selling your old one or just holding off for another year, uh, be sure to shoot them for yourselves, guys. A lot of this stuff is opinion. That's why I shoot the arrows so you can get the facts, give the specs so you can get the facts. But outside of that, a uh, very shootable bow again from Matthews. They, they sold a pile of them last year and I'm guessing they're probably gonna sell a pile of these this year. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button like I said in the beginning and keep watching for the rest of the bow reviews to pop out. Thanks for watching.